Um, I'm from Connecticut. And my drama teacher, actually, Taryn Chorney, she went to Hofstra and she was a drama major. So she's one who sparked my interest. And then I came to visit and fell in love with the campus. It's so beautiful. And then I knew this was where I was going. But I actually came here as a vocal performance major and was studying classical music for a while and then ended up switching to PR as my major, which I also loved because I love talking to people. And then I just knew that the second I saw a performance here at Hofstra, I was like, I need to be a drama major again. And I went right back into drama and best decision I made. And I'm playing Henry Bolingbroke in Richard II. It's about King Richard and his reign. So he, him being taking the throne and he's very superficial. And well, he could be perceived that way. And his rule kind of over his subjects becomes... Um, not right he starts doing like um not making the best decisions as a king and henry um he's banished in the very first scene is banished from england and he finds out that richard is doing all these bad things and like taking henry's rightful money so henry comes back and he's like i want my money i want the throne and him and richard go at it and like in history Henry takes the throne as King Henry. Being Henry Bolingbroke, um, I have my own view on him. He's a very quiet guy, but when he speaks, like he's a force to be reckoned with because obviously he then becomes King Henry. And um, what's so interesting is Henry and Richard are complete opposites. You have Richard who's fighting for the fame and like flouncing around the fame when Henry's coming back for what he what is rightfully his and that's what right away gives the distinction that oh Henry's the better king but then as you watch you notice they both have their faults power does that to people so then you realize that oh both kings um both kings aren't so great uh maybe this is a tragedy and, but, I mean, it's really hard playing Henry because, obviously, I am a girl. Um, but I find a special connection with him um, in the way I, like, in the way I walk, in the way I hold myself, the way others treat me on the stage. Um, it makes me feel like very a powerful, masculine woman, and I, I like it. I'm, I'm proud of Henry. It's an honor. Um, this is actually the first Shakespeare show I've ever done. And... He, He's a genius. The more I analyze, the more I go through every even one line that I have, I find so many different colors, so many different things that I would never read otherwise. And it has just like opened my eyes to the world of Shakespeare. And it's been really great working with the whole cast. Our King Richard, Jesse, is phenomenal. And you have to come see it. For some scenes, we'll be behind the screen and you'll get a projection of what's going on or while a scene is going on you'll have a projection to your right projection to your left like um while something's going on you might see flashes like the paparazzi like it's going to be very fame very multimedia i hope it overwhelms people's senses that's what i hope happens and i hope it leaves you thinking um being like shocked by what you just saw because that's the only way it's going to stick with you and that's how the message is going to get through um, so when I graduate, I plan to move into the city. I'm very excited. Um, I've already started auditioning, which is what I'm excited about. I did get a job. Um, I'm going to Scotland in August to be a part of Rent, the musical. And hopefully that leads to more things. Hopefully networking in Scotland. Maybe I can stay over there for a while. But if anything, I really want to move into New York and just do the starving actress. I'm ready. Come see Richard II because, first of all, you're going to see me on stage. <laughs> Second of all, it's going to be something you've never seen before. I can absolutely tell you that. The multimedia aspect is going to blow your minds. Um, you're going to be shocked by the beauty of Shakespeare that you see on stage. Maureen McFeely and Jean Doby will do an amazing job at helping us to understand what Shakespeare wrote. And it will be beautiful. And we will all have a beautiful time. That's why you should come. <laughs>